I am so glad you pressed play. I know how busy you are, but I also know how important it is to you to stay strong. That is why I have a 20 minute full body resistance training workout for you today. We are gonna work everything from upper, lower, and core. This workout is gonna show you that you do not need a lot of time to get strong and stay fit. So with that said, the only thing you need today are your dumbbells. And for our workout, make sure you're lifting moderately heavy, something that's going to challenge you throughout our training session today. And you know, to get fit and stay strong, the only thing you need is to focus right here for our 20 minutes and stay consistent. So with that, let's go ahead and get right into our warm up, And then we're going to get into this workout. So we're going to start with a prisoner squat into an alternating knee to elbow pull. So hands behind your head. Let's squat it down and then bring that knee up to meet that opposite elbow. Not rushing through this, taking our time, going nice and slow as we lower. Good, head is up, chest is up. We have three rounds today. We're gonna work through each of those exercises in the rounds twice. We're gonna work for 40, rest for 20 in between rounds. We're gonna get 30 seconds to rest. So pretty straightforward workout today. But also, let's be intentional with our time to so stay focused during those work times to really maximize each rep, each set. Here's last one. Good, now we're gonna do a staggered good morning. So take one foot out on your heel here, hands on your hips. We're gonna drive the hips back, slight bend in the knee chest coming down towards the ground, back flat, and squeeze, pull up, push those hips forward, and down. Again, not rushing through this, taking our time. Drive the hips back. Two more, so two more from here, and then we'll switch. Here's two. Last one here, and then we'll take that other leg out. Ooh. Feels so good on the hamstrings. Great way to warm up the lower body here. So other leg out on the heel here. Drive it back and up. Try to keep those hips going back at a consistent pace on each side. So driving that bum back evenly and up. This side for me feels a little bit tighter. So I really have to keep my focus here to drive those hips back evenly. You may notice one side's tighter than the other and that's okay. Last one here. Good, now we're gonna take the legs out, marching it out here with bum kicks. Get the arms going, get that upper body warmed up. We've got a lot of compound moves today, which means we're gonna be working multiple muscle groups. So it's probably gonna get a little sweaty, which is gonna be good. We're gonna be feeling the burn, and it's gonna be awesome. Three more, here's three, two, and one. Solid stance, big arm circles back. The taps forward and back are just to get the, keep the lower body moving. You can stay solid here with your stance. Here's three, two, and one. Let's just take them across. And we're gonna start getting into this workout now. So remember, like I said, go moderately heavy for our workout or for our exercises today to really help us work on building that strength, muscular endurance. And we're gonna start out with a squat to alternating diagonal press. So for myself, I'm gonna use 15 pounds. I'm just giving you that number to give you a range. Pick something, again, that's gonna challenge you. So let's grab our weights and let's do this. All right, shoulders roll down and back. We go in three, two, and one. Exhale as you power up here. Press that arm up, keep the wrist straight. Good, down. Whew and press. You can do a hoot if you want. I'll do that occasionally. Oh, halfway. So remember, two times through each exercise. Right now is the perfect time to think, did I go heavy enough or can I go heavier? Last 10 to 15 seconds, that's where I want you to decide for this second set. We're gonna get a quick recovery here, and then we'll go through this once more. Here's three, two, one, breathe. 20 seconds is gonna go by quick. Remember, keep your focus, keep your mind here. 20 minutes and you got it. Getting ready to go again. Eight seconds, bring those dumbbells up. Same exercise, here's three, two, and one. This 
one really gets the heart rate up. Shoulders on fire. I told you, we're working it all today. We've got all the muscles involved. Almost there. Come on, a couple more reps. Here it is. Last three, two, one. Amazing. Sumo pulse now. We're gonna do three pulses. One heavy dumbbell in the middle or two on each side. I'm going 45. That's just a little bit lighter than I would go on our super heavy days. So legs out, shoulders rolled down and back. We're gonna pulse it for three and up. Let's go. Pulse it down, three, two, one. Push through those heels, squeeze the inner thighs and come up. Down, three, two, one. Push and squeeze. I'm gonna let you count your own pulses here, so work at your own pace, but focus on good form. Push. Almost there. Can you go heavier? If you need to adjust your weight, you're gonna have a second to do that. Here's three, two, and one. Adjust your weight if needed. If not, set it down for just a second. Already 15 seconds to rest, or only 15 seconds left to rest. Getting ready to go. Grab your dumbbell. Time is ticking. Five out. Here's three, two, and one. Let's pulse it for three. Again, count your own pulses here. We all work at different paces, so that's why you count yours, I'll count mine. Press, good. Now this next exercise involves lateral lunges. So when that exercise comes up, you're gonna see a modification on screen if lunges bother your knees. If lunges don't bother your knees, and you're just like, I don't like lunges, still do the lunges, they're good for you. <laughs> Only if they bother your knees, take this modification. All right, here we go. Here's three, two, and a one. All right, we're going into a alternating lateral lunge with a front raise. I'm gonna do two 10 pounders. We're gonna lead up with our thumbs as we take that lateral lunge. Five seconds. Good, here's three, two, and one. Keep that core engaged. This one really challenges the balance here. Here we are, three, two, one. Breathe, last time through, last exercise for round one. We move on to round two. So breathing. All right. Get into position, we're getting ready to go again. Five seconds, here's three, two, lateral lunge and lift, here we go. Now if you're taking that modification, make sure you're squeezing the glute as that leg lifts. Seconds. Good, here it is. Three, two, and a one. Breathe, 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna talk about round two. Grab a drink, dry off if you need it. Next exercise is going to be a sumo squat and a clean. So we're gonna alternate between those two. Grab your dumbbell for that. I'm gonna go down on this one. I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna go 25 pounds 
which is down quite a bit from my sumo squat, but this clean adds a little bit of an extra challenge. Going in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. This is getting me right now, my goodness. Really gonna work the legs on this one. Keep that focus. Almost there, here's three, two, one. Rest it out. 20 seconds, again. We're really moving during that one. Not much of a break at either, at any time during that exercise. So it really gets the heart rate up. Legs out, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. that chest up. I know as we get tired, shoulders might want to start curling forward. Keep them up strong. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice. Tough one next. I'm going down in weight quite a bit. This is an overhead squat. I'm bumping it all the way down to 10. Those arms are gonna stay up. Modification, you can always do a squat with dumbbells on shoulders. So, arms up, here we go. This works the core, something serious. You have to stay focused during this one. Keep that chest up, focus on form. Again, you'll see that mod, or you should have seen that modification for a squat with dumbbells at shoulder. Oh. Three, two, one. Nice, tough exercise. Very tough, but you got it. You made it. 10 seconds, let's get ready to go again. Don't need much weight with this one to feel it all over. Three seconds, and let's begin. Keep your wrist straight. That's my focus right now, wrist straight. I can feel my wrist wanting to bend back. So keep it straight and strong. Gonna do a couple regular squats here for a second. You can always take that modification throughout and then get back into it. That goes for any and all exercises. Here's three, two, one. All right, one dumbbell, sumo Romanian deadlift with a close grip row. Well, you can use two dumbbells for this one as well, but I'm gonna use one, 25, so sumo RDL with a rope. Here we go. So take it down, close grip here, so arms stay nice and close, pull up. Drive those hips back, slight bend, and rope. Up, good. Just want to let you know you are over halfway through this workout. We have a one more set here. Last three, two, and one. Last set before we hit round three, and round three is our final round for this workout. Okay. 
grab it. If you can go heavier, do it. We got about five seconds, so toes turn out. Sumo position, RDL to row. Here we go. Back flat, core engage. Squeeze back up. Good, here we are. Three, two, and a one. Now you've got 30 seconds, so enjoy this. We're gonna talk about round three. We're gonna be on the ground the whole time. We're gonna work an elevated, we're gonna do a glute bridge with a um, chest press, alternating chest press, then we're gonna work two ab exercises. So you only need dumbbells for that chest press. So grab those, I'm going 20. Ring it back. So we're gonna do glute bridge, hold it, alternating press, and back down. Here we go. So glute bridge up, alternating chest press, one arm, then the other. Back, drop the hips, back glute bridge. So those hips are staying lifted for quite some time. So you really can get the squeeze out of the glutes right here. Press, good, and press. Almost there, here's three, two, one. 20 seconds, might as well just stay like this because <laughs> it's gonna go by quick. You know the drill now. Whew. All right, about 10 seconds out. Back into the glute bridge, alternating press in three. Here's two and one. Let's get that glute bridge, alternate the press. Keeping the weight in the heels here of your feet. Knees in line with toes. And up. Good. Press. Halfway. Think about squeezing those chest muscles too. Now even though we've got the glute, the core, the hamstring, we're also working that upper body. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Sorry, gotta finish my set out. I can't just stop mid-set even if the timer tells me to. <laughs> All right, time for abs now. We are working on a double knee pull, right and left. So it's gonna be a cross body crunch. You'll see a modification on screen where you can keep your feet on the ground. Going in three, two, and one. Exhale with the crunch. Get those shoulder blades up as you crunch. Ten seconds out. Almost there. Three, two. And one, breathe, tuck it in, 20 seconds. One more set for that. And then one more exercise with two sets and we have made it. Breathing. Three seconds, here's two and one. Almost there. <laughs> Less than 10. Here's three, two, and one. Oh. 
All right, butterfly sit up is next. So modification, you're just gonna do a regular sit up. Now remember the sit up is gonna take it farther than the crunch. So we're gonna be going up here on this one. Butterfly soles of the feet together. Hands behind head, let's go in three, two, and one. So sit it up, control it back. Take your time rolling it back. Breathe, good. Halfway. All right, here it is. Three, two, and one. One more set, and we've made it. Breathing. Whew. Let's roll it back. 10 seconds out. So again, that modification, you're just going to do the regular sit up, feet flat on the ground. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Oh, I don't know about you, but I will tell you, I'm feeling worse from head to toe. Oh my God. I trained for so long. Y'all listen, for so long, like just not training with intention, training for an hour at a time, and I did not get any results. So when I started training like this, short, intentional, effective workouts, oh my God. Life changing and it doesn't take up your life. Ooh. Here's three, two, and one. Oh. So by the way, if you were looking for effective workouts, which I have already planned for you, you don't even have to think about it. All you have to do is press play. Consider subscribing and I will be your trainer, your friend, and I'll just love kicking balls. Yeah. So don't forget if you are interested, subscribe. Get a stretch after this, because you're gonna need it. It's gonna feel so good. I love you so much and I will see you for our next workout together.